everyone welcome to the tiny studio i'm so glad to be with you today i'm so, well wait 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 a minute i'm so glad that you could hang out with me today here in the tiny studio today i want to show you the results of my hard work on a vintage coach convertible clutch um if you recall well, if you are new to the channel, I will put, will place a video of the package of the, well, I will put an unboxing of the convertible coach clutch bag in the description box or somewhere in the corners of this video. <laughs> and then you can reference it for, um, your edification but the very very short story is i saw a convertible uh a vintage convertible coach bag on the pre-love market more precisely on ebay and i wasn't looking for her because i have my own unicorn list that i'm always looking out for however i have an alternative list and you know the convertible clutch is on that list along with the companion bag and the saddle bag however when i found her she looked really really bad now the seller to their credit they posted lots of pictures so i had the opportunity to assess the bag for the pictures and i had the opportunity to figure out whether or not i had the knowledge or i could acquire the knowledge needed to refurbish the bag which i was able to do successfully yay <laughs> first of all i want to thank all the people in the Facebook groups, the Vintage Coach Cult group, and in the um, Vintage Coach Leatherwear group, because they had loads of information accessible to me if I, you know, if I ran into a problem or if I needed more information about something. They had all of those. Um, you know, they had all the information that I really needed if I was to run into a problem, which I ran into a problem, but I was able to figure it out, solve it, and I'm so glad for that. Um, as I said, the seller placed lots of pictures up, and so I was able to see, engage, what I would have to do to bring her back to her former glory. And when the package arrived and I got a chance to look at her, I was able to do another assessment. And I figured out that she had pretty good bones, but it was going to be a process to bring her back. And so the process started almost a month ago, and I am really excited to show you what she looks like today. So here she is. The Vintage Coach Convertible Clutch. Isn't she beautiful? She is. Now, if you have seen the pictures that I posted on social media and some pictures that I will soon post on my Patreon page, you will see that she is almost, I want to say, 98% back to her former glory. She is about 45 years of age. She is in wonderful, wonderful condition. And she is it's like night and day from when she first arrived here to her new home and I am just so happy with the way she turned out here she is this is the front this is the bottom this is the back the top sides and she has her original tag hang tag and as you see her beautiful strap is still very much intact no splits no tears 
just some conditioning and basically she's a really good bag because as you see there are no splits no tears there were a great deal of scratches I'm still working on conditioning the bottom of her but I was able to reshape her and here's the inside I have her stuffed that's that raw leather there and she had a pin mark right here I don't know if you can see that which is fine for me I don't mind because You know, that's just a pin mark. I, I, I understand. I get it. So that doesn't bother me. But she is a totally different bag than she was when she arrived about a month ago. So what was my process? What did I do? Well, the first thing I did was after I disinfected her, I cleaned her with Lexol. And I think that I've showed you uh, what Lexol looks like. Uh, it's a cleaner. It's spelled L-E-X-O-L. -L. And here's the conditioner. So I cleaned her and I conditioned her and I cleaned her and I conditioned her and cleaned her and conditioned her more. And then I actually cleaned the inside of her so I could reshape her. And after maybe about three or four days, you know, I, I took a look at her and she still, she didn't look good. She still did not look healthy. So I cleaned her again. So I cleaned her conditioned her put it back out to dry and she looked a little better but not good and after two more tries i realized that what she really needed was a bath she's 45 years old she's been places done things and she needed a now, I was apprehensive about giving her a bath. And the reason why is because she had this black spot at the bottom of her back, on at the bottom of at the bottom of the back. And I thought it was ink. And it could very well be ink, but I doubt it at this point. But I was afraid that the ink would spray it once it became wet, and then it would not only spray it, but it would also soak through the bag to the bottom and I was hoping that didn't happen but because she was in such a state I felt that she had to have a bath so I went ahead and got a sink full of uh, warm water I added some Dawn dishwashing liquid to it and I put her in the bath I let her sit there by herself in privacy for about 15 minutes. I came back. I looked at the water. I was like, oh my God, what's, what's going on here? The water was my color. <laughs> it was incredible, but I knew that she was dirty. And I knew that I knew that the only thing that was going to really bring her back wasn't going to be all the things I was putting on top of her because that was just, you know, layering more and more stuff that on top of a, a situation that wasn't going to be good so i gave her a bath and after that bath after I, I cleared the water i added more warm water and dawn i took a scrubbing brush and i scrubbed her inside and out every inch of her i scrubbed and then i rinsed her off and after i rinsed her thoroughly i set her on a nice juicy warm you know fluffy towel and i began to uh dry her really well really dry her and then i took some of my um my reshaping cloths i put her put them inside of her and then i covered her with the fluffy um with the fluffy um towel and i let her sit for about three days I uncovered her, checked her out, and then I, oh, most important part is that before I let her sit to dry, I put some conditioner on her. That's what I did. Then I let her dry. So after a week passed of me changing towels and things of that nature and putting, applying conditioner on her, then I just let her sit. I just let her be for an entire week. I didn't do anything, didn't touch her, just let her sit there and dry. 
And after that week was done, I went back, I checked it out, I started putting healing balm around the corners of the bag. So it's healing balm all over, I put there, around the corners, or the edges. I start putting healing balm on the, the bottom of the bag, the corners, and then I let her sit again. And maybe about two days ago, I looked at her and I was like, okay, she's back. I added a little conditioner to her and I said, okay. So the next time I step out, this is going to be the bag of the week. And I'm so excited to carry her. And I'm so excited that I was able to give her another life. I mean, that is the most pre rewarding thing about vintage coach bags, especially when you are restoring them, refurbishing them or rehabbing them, is you already know that they've lived a life. You know, you know that they lived a life. But when you are able to present another life to it, give it another 30, 40 years, that's wonderful. That is just a gift that you've not only given the bag, but you've also given the person who will one day be entrusted with you know, loving it and adopting it into their home. And that's exactly how I see this vintage bag here. And that's how I see all of my vintage uh, coach bags. I see myself as a person who is the custodian of the bag for another 20, 30 years. And possibly one day this bag will be in the, the custody of my daughters and my daughter-in-laws. And they will go ahead and, you know, continue to do the things that I did to, you know, keep them alive. And whatever happens, uh, Vintage Coach, I mean, the craftsmanship is one of a kind. You just... You can't go wrong with them. And no matter how much abuse they may take or sustain, if you know what to do, you can bring them back to their former glory. And that's what this video is about today. This is about the Vintage Coach Convertible Clutch Bag. And why is she convertible? Well, she's convertible because her straps are removable. And since she was born, she was born in the late seventies, the disco era. There were a lot of handbags and purses that were just your clutch. You just place them under your arm, like that. Go hang out at the disco, not with disco duck. No, 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 no. But partying at the disco, you know jamming with you know chic and donna summer and gloria gainer i will survive i will survive i will survive you know that is what this bag went through she was born probably in 1977 1978 so she knows all about the disco era right but that's the purpose of the convertible clutch that you can do so many different things with her you know you can wear her as a clutch or you can just wear her as you know your regular saddle bag right I just love her and I cannot wait to transfer all of my essentials to this beautiful bag and if you follow me on social media at Blue Lotus Hill Designs, you will find some more pictures of her. And um, follow me on Patreon. Become a become a patron over at Patreon at uh, Simply Nails Tiny Studio. And you know. I'm going to provide some more really healthy or health 
health helpful tips on how you can begin to um, find or start your own vintage coach collection and I should really be a coach ambassador as much as I talk about them especially vintage coach I should be an ambassador for them <laughs> they need to pay me but that's neither here nor there. Um, come over to my Patreon page and I will talk more about how to find a vintage coach bag in your price level. I'll help you to authenticate um, <clears throat> a potential adoptee and, you know, so much more helpful information can be found over at my Patreon page. So thank you so much for supporting Simply Nails Tiny Studio. Thank you for watching this video. And if you're new, please do not hesitate to subscribe and like because that lets me know what type of content you would like to see in the future. And it helps the, al the algorithm, okay? Yes, it does. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here in the tiny studio today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. And say hello to the Vintage Coast Convertible Clutch. Wow, what a wonderful, delightful experience it has been to restore her. Have a great day.